And the winner is Look Smart Alteration. <laughs> Abraham Hatu. <laughs> He's looking more like Rocky now, but Abraham Hatu from Look Smart Alterations, a refugee from war torn Lebanon, now the owner of more than 100 businesses across Australia and New Zealand with more than 500 employees. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, this is an amazing... I can't believe this. Who would have thought that a refugee would be standing here tonight? I thank God, thank Australia for providing me with the fundamentals of fairness, decency, and the premise of equal opportunity. Distinguished guests, dignitaries, family, and friends, Khaldun for nominating me Joseph Assa for his selfless giving, I thank you. You see, I was born to a, a Palestinian family who was forced to live in squalid conditions, death and violence. My father was violently taken from us when I was 11. I then lived most of my life, most of my teenage years in an orphanage. I was almost beaten to death and later suffered serious injuries when a bomb exploded near me. As a child, I played with toys that were retrieved from the bins of the rich, hungrily ate leftover sandwiches collected from privileged schools. As a teenager, I was shooed away from luxury hotels. Today, people open doors for me. I am waited on and seated in fine restaurants. Every day, I am amazed and thankful for transformation, for the transformation from boy to man, from poor to privileged. My life is a testament that dreams do come true. With a humble heart, I share my story with the hope that my journey will inspire others. My wife is a goddess to me. I don't know how she has put up with me. Thanks. Can I please, I know it's taking a long time, please come over here, Mesa. She's asked me not to, to get her over here, but please do come. You see, my wife also was born in another refugee camp. I don't know how we got together. It's a long story, I got rejected three times and finally she accepted me. Come over, darling. My wife was the person that held me up when things were difficult. She let me yell when things were frustrating, and she held my hand when I needed a friend. She supported me when I sold our shares, our factory, and our commercial building. I even sold our own home and currently renting our home from the people that bought it from us. And my wife still supported me. If it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be here today. I believe in my concept, and my wife believed in me. I dedicate this award to my wife, my brilliant oh. wife, Mesa. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.
room, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what the Ethnic Business Awards is all about.